How many times have you forgot about a load of clothes in the washing machine and they sat all night and you had to rewash them? Or the clothes sat in the dryer, you completely forgot for a week? Okay, nobody forgets for a week. But how many times have you forgotten to check it or that you forgot that you were drying and you didn't hear the signal down the house? Well, no more. With this small circuit board, you can make your own device that notifies you via pushover when your washer or dryer are complete. This is the breadboard I have set up for the washer or dryer monitor. It's a generic Wemos D1. The positive and negative rails are coming off of the appropriate places. I have the Wi-Fi signal LED on D2. I have the cycle complete notification LED on D1. I have the AO, which is the analog pin, coming to a light sensor which is a 4.7K resistor going to negative and the light sensor is connected to the positive rail. So what happens when it's powered up is that it automatically connects to your Wi-Fi using the information you've provided in the code. The Wi-Fi LED will light up notifying you that it does have Wi-Fi connectivity. It does a base light level check using the light sensor and it records that information then it's every five seconds thirty seconds whatever you define the interval as it will sample the light sensor value once it senses that the LED on the washer or dryer has turned on which is set by the threshold value currently at 225 in the base code uh, you're welcome to modify that to experiment with it to see what you need to change for your environment it will set this LED on, which is a cycle complete LED, and then go through the remaining go through the remaining code to send the pushover notification, and it will show up on your phone or whatever other device you have the notification set to send to through pushover. Okay, so the video lights have to be off in order to do this so that it doesn't overwhelm the sensor. I'm holding this up to the screen so that you can see the com monitor as well as the actual device on the breadboard okay it's initializing it's connected to Wi-Fi and it's already taken two readings because it's at five second intervals and the analog reading is 302 currently out of 1024 and this is in a room with three 60 watt LED equivalent bulbs as soon as the cycle is complete, that LED turns on, which I'm going to use as a flashlight. The next reading shows a value of 1024. The red LED shows the cycle is complete. And as you heard from my phone, the pushover notification has been sent. And you're alerted to the dryer or washer cycle being complete. Since the light is already off, it automatically resets itself, turning the cycle complete LED off and begins checking readings again. After prototyping, the components I decided on were a CDS cell that senses the light level as a resistive value, a 4.7K resistor, a couple of LEDs, color is your choice. I went with blue for the Wi-Fi and red for the cycle complete, a proto board, that fits with the, the D1 Mini, which is an ESP8266 based Arduino board. It has onboard Wi-Fi and a standard power connector. Those can be had for less than $10 easily anywhere. Uh, you could go somewhere like Ally Express and get them for closer to five. The Proto board is about a dollar on Ally Express and the links will be below in the description. For the D1 mini board, you'll need to solder in these headers. And then for the proto board, you'll solder in the short sockets. After those are soldered in, you will have this for the D1 mini board, which is what I was using for prototyping on the breadboard. And this, which is the completed version of the entire circuit on the proto board the LEDs, the resistor, and the light sensor. When you're finished soldering the protoboard, 
you simply plug the ESP8266 in to the proto board and the circuit's complete. You can power it up, test it simply by moving, having the light sensor down, moving it into the open light, and you'll be able to see the entire thing function. All of the changes that you need to make in the Arduino code should make sense, uh, but just go over them. Your pushover settings, you need to change your IP token, sorry, API token, and your user key. For your home network, you need to enter your SSID here and the password for that SSID. The threshold is the amount of light change that's needed before it determines that the cycle is complete. And 225 is what I've been using after some testing. And the delay time is how long between checks of the light level. I would actually go for about 30 seconds so that it's not checking continuously. It's not really necessary for the washer or dryer. For your own network, if you're using a static IP, you'll need to enter your static IP here, your gateway, and your subnet. And that should be about it. If you want to change the notification that is sent to pushover, it would be right here. You can change dry cycle complete to wash cycle complete if you're using this on a washing machine or anything else you would like to say. And that's all the changes that need to... Oh, one more thing. If you want to change the sound that pushover uses, this is the place to make that change. It is in the code. You cannot do it on the GUI for pushover. And they have a list of sounds that you can use. Uh, there's a dozen or so to pick from. And that's all the changes you need to make in the Arduino code. Since the project has been built, I designed a quick box to house the device. So we have the top layer. It's got fillets around the edge. Make it a little nicer. Inside. There's some supports to hold it in place. There's a small cylinder that comes up to shield the light sensor. There's the holes for the two LEDs and the hole for the power supply that's coming in. And then four screw holes to hold the lid on top. Simple design. It has quite a bit to print though and it took about two and a half hours or so to actually print the complete box. Here's the finished box. Uh, for mounting purposes, since there are no mounting holes for the D1 mini board or the proto board, I'm using a small piece of double-sided foam tape placed in the bottom. Once everything's installed, there should be no reason to remove the board from the box. As you can do all your programming changes that need to be made through the micro USB. So I'll sl simply slip in the proto board. Making sure the light sensor seats in the hole. And that's positioned well enough to fit in the box. Then simply put the mini D1 into the socket. And then just screw on the lid. Unfortunately, I don't have any screws this size. They're on order. So the rest of this video will be without the screws in place. How do you mount it to the dryer? You could opt with just some double-sided tape or foam tape onto the face of the dryer. However, that doesn't remove very well after more than a couple of hours. So what I've opted to go with are the 3M command strips. They come in different sizes. These are the Velcro versions. The Velcro does add quite a bit of extra height to the base of the box. 
So what I use is a grommet, and I cut the grommet in half. Actually in thirds would be more appropriate for what I did. And then I simply glue that with some quick set epoxy onto the face, and that gives me the correct height for when the 3M tape is mounted. Okay, so the device is plugged in. As you can see, it still does not have a lid because I don't have the screws. You need to find where the red LED normally comes on. In this case, it's set to done. And that simply needs to be lined up over the top. And that's where you'll place it. You can place it in any configuration that you desire. I'm not interested in the eco monitor, so I don't worry about that part. The command strips have been cut down to size. Take a piece off, apply that, take off the other side, and simply line that up over where the LED is, and it's ready to go. When you start When the device initializes, it checks the level, and as long as the LED is off at the time that it powers up, your level will be based on the room lighting or solely black. It does pick up some room lighting simply because of the housing. When the dryer cycle is complete, it senses a light level change and begins the process of notifying via pushover through your Wi-Fi network. And that's the entire process. Time. when you know that your clothes are done.